Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Savalski. Well, heading into game number four, these two teams are certainly very familiar with one another. Opening face-off is just seconds away. played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Fox won the draw and they look to set up. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. The Oilers win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Pass to Gervais. Takes the pass. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Angles it over to Putriot. Cod's got it along the wing. Here's a chance. And that's blocked away. Quick feed to Hayhurst. And it's a quick pass to Koski. Moves the puck along the half wall. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Shot scooped into the trapper by Morris. Tulsa's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And he takes the dish. Cheryl of moving their feet. They're moving their feet and they're moving the puck and this gives them a little bit of a cushion to play free and you get your entire bench into the game early. You show good habits and you get rewarded for it. zone for the right. Kansas City's got the puck. Passes up ahead from the left wing. The Mavericks played along the wing. Sends the pass down low. Handles the puck. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Kansas City's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it to Jackson. Cuts to the point. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Tulsa's got it in their own zone. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Paul. And that shot dies in traffic. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Quick pass to Duquette. Scores! And look at that, the rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. And I'll talk
talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. The Oilers have it against the wall. Slides the puck over. The Mavericks gain possession in their own end. Pushes it across to Nakbar. Fires it! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Locks the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Kansas City's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, and he whiffs. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Nekbar. From the left side, takes it to center. Kansas City's got control of it now from their own end. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Kansas City's got possession of the puck. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Turns over the Season. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Mavericks take the lead after that last goal. Cheryl, what do you wait for here now? Do you uh, do you anticipate the counter punch or do you look for the continued push attack? Well, you got to continue to push attack. There is way too much runway left in this game, James. You're in the first period. You got to find a way to continue to compete, continue to maintain the momentum, and put your opponent on their heels. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Tulsa has been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Takes a shot. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. Kansas City's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. Hooked away by Boudreaux. The Oilers have it now. Here they come up along the wing. The Mavericks scoop it up along the boards. Passes over to Jones. Along the half wall with the puck. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Comes up with the stop. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Here in the late going of the frame, Kansas City's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Tulsa's taking possession in their own end. Now a quick pass to Farron. The Oilers are playing against the boards. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Walker's won the faceoff. Calvis is taken down. A penalty is coming up. Here comes the sentence. Well, the official was right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Here's a 
first look at the power play. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. The Oilers win the draw. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up, clearing that one. That's a great heads-up play to bring up the pass. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes the shot. No room for that one to get through. job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. McKee's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Jackson's a star who can get his squad buzzing offensively. Fox is an important piece of this club. They'll be looking for him to produce. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. The Mavericks have it now. Kansas City's got a hold of the puck. This is it to Koski. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Join our fan club and receive a membership card, discounts on team merchandise and team ringtones, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. McKee's almost back on the ice. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes 0 for on the opportunity. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly show why they're on that unit. The Mavericks continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Nice job tying up his opponent. Tulsa's ready to go on the attack. Here's a shot! Gets a piece of it with the trapper! Morris does a great job of anticipating this play. I mean, it's a high-danger shot. He gets to it. Shot. The goaltender looks like he's just getting to position, gets a piece of it, but it still goes in. The Mavericks look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice, and then they're executing on their opportunities. It's the reason why they hold the lead. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Krinkovich is gaining momentum. Takes it to the net. Good save. Morris has looked really comfortable and dialed in in the crease tonight. James, he's calm, he's composed, he's made the saves he's needed to. But his team has played excellent in front of him and created a ton of scoring chances, a reason why they have a healthy lead. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, big time save by Morris. 
Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Mavericks just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Kansas City's got it in their own zone. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Receives the pass. Great poke check on the reach. Here he is in close. Oh, and a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Tulsa's got the win off that draw. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Oilers, they're going to need to regroup if they want to get back in this game. James are halfway through it. There's still plenty of time left. They have to do much better than they started in the first half. Moves it quickly over to McKee. Great chance and an even better save. Morris is such a technically sound goaltender. He's able to make that save look easy and redirects the puck to the corner, getting it out of the line of fire so that everyone can reset and look to hound it for retrieval. Still lots of time left in the period. And we've got a 4-1 hockey game. The Mavericks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Jackson. Quick shot! And he's got the answer for that one. Como's got it across the line. Shot! And that one's turned aside! Slide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Oilers win that offensive zone faceoff. The Mavericks move it ahead. From the point, they take control of it. With the stop. Tulsa's got the puck. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Nice poke check. Picks up the puck in his own end. Moves it to Paul. Here's a chance! Great save by Morris! I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Passes on over to Koski. Here's a short pass to Boudreaux. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Oh, that sounded like a car crash against the wall. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Pass back to the point. Oh, it puts that one high. Well, it almost looks like he was looking for that top corner and just missed. Tulsa's got it across the line. Just slide. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James. So the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. And the puck clears the slow, and they'll be forced to leave as well. Can't keep a hold of it. Picked up along the wall by McKee. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Calvis carries the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Big play inside the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Nice dish from the left wing. And there's the save on the play. Kunkovic has made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Puck grab by Matsushima. And there's the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Oilers trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. Tulsa's won the faceoff. And he makes the save on that play. 
Jones works the puck in his own zone. Sends the pass over. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick pass to Poulsen. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. He wins her in transition. Long reach breaks up the momentum. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Here's a shot, and he gets just enough to keep it out. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Tulsa's trailing here late in the second period despite being the more active team offensively. Butchers won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. The Mavericks carry it along the wall. And the puck leaves the zone. Kansas City's looking to break out. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Nafar. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Quick feed to Nafar. Tripped up on the play, and the referee's caught that one. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Sure, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, they got to be expecting to get one soon here. It is one side, and it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep braiding yourself to the box. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. Number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. The Mavericks power play continues to start the frame and they win the draw. Oh, and he misfires on that. Good hit on the play. For the comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. And the puck's knocked loose. Costantini's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Let's see what the official says here. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Tulsa sitting their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. From the blue line. And the puck is cleared. 
Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are in the swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. McKee's got it into offensive territory. Thomas is brought down, a penalty on the way. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. the better team tonight in my opinion but still they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots the Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone and he gets a piece of that one and denies it well this save was way more difficult than it looked James I mean there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see and he finds the puck to make the save we haven't even hit the midway mark of the period Kansas City's latest goal has now given them a four goal lead and gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Chopped up on the play, delay penalty coming up. Jones has it in the defensive end. Moves it to Cotton. Look out, they can create some trouble here. Extra tackers on the ice with the delay penalty looming. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They got to find a way to play even strength.
The Oilers are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. And they win that draw center. The Mavericks play it along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Split feed. Here's a backhander. Turns it away. Scores! They convert on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes and you're able to move the coverage. That's exactly what they did, and they're able to convert. Kansas City's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Gets the full use of his stick on the coach. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Duquette. Scores! And look at that! The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring! Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. But tonight it is. The Oilers are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Matsushima's won the draw. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And that's intercepted by Koski. The Mavericks will play it in their own end. And now it's over to Hayhurst. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Hayhurst's been nabbed for tripping. Jackson's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive yeah. close. Oh, it's With a shooter, he gets a lucky break here. All he's trying to do is get that puck off quickly under pressure, and he does, and it goes bar down and into the net. Tulsa 
Alpha's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Mavericks have played from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. With possession along the wall. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly. Oh, my goodness, it's Tito. What a save. It was all but in, James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Tulsa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Quick pass to Nafar. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Knocks the puck loose. The Mavericks gain control of the puck. Puck picked up by Nafar. Handles it along the blue line. And that's off the club and will play on. Takes a shot. Just misses. What an opportunity. There. Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this in a prime time scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. Fire it, Fire it. Big save right at the end. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Four games into this series, two wins at one end of the ice and two at the other after the response tonight. Well, and the runway's getting shorter, right? Which means the intensity is ramping up. And hey, when teams play four games back-to-back -back against one another, guess what? It gets heated anyways. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.